Hello, Sparkian. This is Kings of Grant here from the Happier Marriage Secrets, where we are on a mission making marriages happier again. And today we're discussing the rebounding aspects from relationships, the hard truths about why it's a bad idea. In this case, the rebounding of Jeannie Mize um, in her marriage to Jay Jenkins, also known as Jeezy. Before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Those seemingly small acts are huge in that they help this channel grow. And for those who have already done so, let me say a big thank you. Now, this topic is the last of the five hard truths that I shared in a longer form video, which you'll see here on the screen. And you can also find in the link um, in the description below. I wanna encourage you to watch that video because in that video, I spoke about the five hard truths about Jeezy and Jeannie Mai's divorce that could save your marriage. And also I, um, and so I wanted to take uh, time to create standalone videos for each of the five hard truths. And this is the last in the, um, of the five hard truths that I've shared. So let's get to it. Hard truth number five. And this is what I find, I see it so often in counsel, the caution of rebounding from a previous relationship. Hard truth, rebounding from a past relationship. I can tell you that when I read, with the little I do read and know of what, the story of Jeannie Maya, you know, and she came out of a divorce, an 11 year marriage. Even though she says what she knew now, she should never have married her husband. You know, people can say all those things because she's been hurt. I don't know what happened in that relationship. But what I do know is that no matter how bad it was for her, she still needed to grieve and come to terms with that past relationship to just jump. I see so many people have this serial rebounding from one relationship to another. They've never been alone. They've never been in a relationship. I mean, be that by themselves. It's almost like one relationship ends, they're in another relationship. That one ends, they're in another relationship. And I ask this question sometimes, I'm working with a person, individual, and they will tell me, I've never been out of a relationship. And as if it's a badge of honor, it's not. You are that common denominator. There's something that you need your shine, you're running away from, being able to work and, you know, so there's insecurity, it could be a number of, of mental disorders. But I can tell you, until that person is able to recognize they don't no longer need a relationship to find themselves who they are, it's going to be a repeating cycle. So rebounding is something you want to look at, right? It's a common occurrence, but it can be dangerous if you haven't manage it well because you jump into another relationship haven't healed from your past relationship and then it becomes a serial um operation or process and so you bring your broken self from a past relationship not healed into another relationship become broken there again and keep on being broken and broken and broken and broken these rushing into a new relationship my friend you made poor decisions because you haven't had time to heal from your previous relationship. And so rebounding is not a healthy way to get yourself into because people use re rebounding. You know, what I mean by that is that you're getting out of one relationship and you bounce into a new relationship so quickly and haven't got a chance to heal because you're afraid of healing. You're afraid of being by yourself. You're afraid of what that means. And so you're trying to use a relationship, a new relationship to heal you from your past relationship. Those that, that doesn't work. That's not how you heal yourself using the one relationship to heal. You ought to heal on your own before you put another relationship on top of that. It won't hold up. It won't hold up. It's not gonna be um, long before it lasts. And I think that's one of the issues here. Jeannie and Maya have confessed herself. She said, she recognized that one thing she came into this relationship with as anger issue. She was very angry and very um, dominant. She had this idea of, you know, she mentioned about her mom and her grandparent, grandmother, and so on, a history where she see in a female have been very, you know, um, 
disrespectful of a male, a husband or a male partner. And her anger, you know, she had this outrage, as she mentioned. I don't know if that was what Jesus experienced. It could be. But she recognized she needed to work on that. So imagine her rebounding with that anger, not taking care of what's going to happen in her new relationship. It's only going to continue to get worse because you always amp up where you left off. So this is one of the hard truths is about rebounding the caution. Be very careful about jumping off from one relationship into another relationship because you're going to bring that into a new relationship and it's not going to be healthy. So I know this was tough, right? I know it's, I mean, as I hear myself, I'm thinking I'm preaching, I'm being hard. But my friend, listen, I'm doing this because I believe that one of the things that God has called me to do is help people in relationships. And that's why you hear this idea of happier marriage secrets. This is one of the secrets about, about me, for example. How do we make marriages happier again? We've got to call things out. We've got to call things out. If we don't be honest and call these things out, we're only going to perpetrate these kind of things more and more. And it's not helpful. And I'm here to help. And, and sometimes in helping, it might be hurting first before we heal. So this may be one of those where it sounds like I'm hurting, and but my heart is, my friend, my heart is to help you have a better relationship. So not, here are the hard truths from this uh, Jeezy and, and Je, um, Janine uh, relationship. Number one, the first hard truth is this, avoid psychics and other form of divination, appealing to those, avoid that. Hard truth, number two, the impact of divorce on individuals, on you, family, on individuals and others around them is a harsh, painful impact. Hard truth number three, there's a challenge, the challenges of second marriages, the challenges of second marriages. Hard truth number four, the impact of divorce on children. And hard truth number five, the caution of rebounding from a previous relationship. And these are the five hard truths about Jeezy and Jeannie Maya's divorce that could save your marriage. And that's why you hear my, you heard my passion is how to save your marriage. So what do you think about what you just heard? Let me know in the comments below. Secondly, if you would like to gauge the state of your marriage and see what you can do to make it better, then take the Happier Marriage Assessment at happiermarriagesecrets.com slash quiz. Lastly, if you are into podcasts, you can access topics like this one and a host of others at happiermarriagesecrets.com slash podcast. All these links can be found within the description that follows this video. With that said, my friend, thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified of new podcasts or new, I'm sorry, new videos posted on this channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one and God bless.